Well, April is a National Child Abuse Prevention Month, and St. Luke's is working to raise more awareness about this very difficult issue. And it's certainly been a difficult year to protect children because coronavirus kept so many at home, away from teachers and others who could spot a problem. Idaho News 6 reporter Alex Grant has more on some of the signs to look for. In 2020, there were 291 kids seen by the Magic Valley branch of the St. Luke's Children at Risk Evaluation Services. It's a pretty horrible thing, so we all kind of wish it didn't happen. So it's nice to have a time set aside just for the general population to increase awareness of, yes, it exists, and how can I recognize it, and what can I do about it? In previous years, St. Luke's has hosted walks and rallies to raise more awareness, yet COVID has caused them to take a different approach. This year, unfortunately, we can't do that, so we really kind of resorted to social media or, um, and you know, these kind of interviews where we're not... Um, able to kind of socialize in numbers right now. One way for people to show support is by placing blue pinwheels on your property. They just signify the healthy, healthy, happy lives that all children deserve to have. And unfortunately, a lot don't. So that's the national symbol for child, prevent, child abuse prevention. The biggest factor that will help this issue is by knowing other potential signs apart from bruising. A sudden change in behavior, doing poorly in school, and otherwise um, outgoing child being suddenly now withdrawn and silent and angry. In Twin Falls, I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6.